<sighs> oh boy. Golden rule number one, bitches. I love Mario Maker on Wii U. Basically, that and Witcher 3 were my main contenders for Game of the Year 2015. And yes, I will get to Game of the Year Roundup. It's coming soon-ish. You can stop asking. I don't know, this is a weird review to do. Cause like, this is what could only be described as near perfection. You know, ever since Little Big Planet came out, which shared Game of the Year for me for 2008, everyone's wanted a good level editor for Mario. You know, Mario Maker was just kind of inevitable after that. And while Little Big Planet was awesome, it was also kind of floaty, kind of a little convoluted, and really motherfucking complicated in its, you know, editor. That it was great for, you know, building an analog calculator to amaze YouTube. And there were amazing levels on it, but the act of playing it, it never had that visceral, perfect physics tactile feeling of Mario. So when Mario Maker came out on Wii U, yeah, that was just wish fulfillment. Really solid fucking wish fulfillment. And the only real downside of it, aside from slopes, yes, we know slopes, was that, you know, how many people had a Wii U? Yeah, that's what I thought. So Mario Maker 2. Super Mario Maker 2! This is pretty much near perfection. Like, instead of doing like a pros, cons, you know, balancing act, I can just literally tell you, the only thing I could even think to criticize in the whole game is that there's still kind of arbitrary limits on like how much of a thing you can make that, ugh, does it really matter if it's 500K or a megabyte anymore? I'm just saying, ugh, I get, I get why Time Splitters 2 had to have like a two block because memory was like, you could count it, how much space it took to save shit back in the day. But now, I mean, come on. But that's, that's really it. And there's enough, frankly, to make almost any level you want as is, it's fine. And there's nothing else. <laughs> Nothing else I can really complain about. That's why I call it near perfect. This is this is distilled joy. A greatest hit to the best 2D platforming physics ever with every flavor and you effectively get infinite levels. I mean, this is unlimited candy. In addition to the editor stuff, you actually get a full story mode, allowing you to build stuff, your castle with coins, which means for the first time since like the original Mario, coins actually matter. That's weird. As you build up your castle, you effectively play a full single-player Mario game's worth of levels, and without that slow slump of, like, easy first world, you're just thrown into all this crazy creative shit, because they're trying to teach you how to use everything. And so every level is a new lesson in some crazy shit you could do. And that's awesome. It's just, it's just all awesome. It's so awesome! I mean, what you see is what you get. I don't really know how much that I can explain to you, because if you've seen a trailer for this, or for the first one, you know what you're getting. And what you're getting is just unlimited of the greatest shit ever fucking made. You can either dial up the levels on their own, give a little like or whatever, or go to the endless mode, just like the last game of various difficulties, and, you know, see how far you can get. You know, some levels are great, and, you know, some are... whatever. But this is early on, and the more time passes, the more good shit will float to the top. And since we don't have the super low install base of the Wii U, that's not really gonna take too long. I already found plenty of fun, good creative stuff that people have made. As fun as the endless mode and the story mode are, we know the level editor, that's a bread and butter. This is what we're here for. And it's great. It's just, it gives you everything. You get all the shit you had last time, plus a whole lot of new shit. Look at this, look at this new shit. You got your four interchangeable Marios, plus a new one, which is totally unique to itself. Super Mario 3D World. This is the only one you can't swap out with the other Marios, because it's got its own rules, physics, etc. Which is pretty cool, but I think we're all... You see this little spot here? You see that? You see this little, little empty bitch? Yeah. So, like, uh, that's clearly gonna be Mario Galaxy, right? Right? Come on, come on. Give me that Nintendo Direct announcement, because we all know it's fucking coming. I want my 2D Galaxy physics, bitches. Nyah! But, uh, you know, I'm, what else is there to say? I mean, golden rule number one meets the best shit ever. It's just, it's, you can't go wrong. It's automatic candy. I like candy. Give me candy! Honestly, if, if you can't find fun here, if you can't find happiness here, then, then the fuck is wrong with you? Fuck you. This is just the good shits. If you have a Switch it, you, you don't buy it, you're dumb. Easy nominee for game of the year without even having to think about it. Kind of like Sekiro. There's really nothing I can complain about. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice if they didn't have some arbitrary limits on items and levels, but I don't know, they could patch that, I hope, and if they don't, ah, they're, it's still it's still enough to make pretty much anything. I mean, I made like four levels so far and I barely bumped into it once, so it's not really a big issue. It's just, oh, jeez. I just want to make levels all day. I don't want to do any work. I want to make levels. Fuck you. I want to go, go sleepies. I'm sure there's someone out there, there's some annoying whatever fanboys. Nintendo's for blah, blah, blah. 
That's nice. That's my, my, my condolences on your small penis. This is what you would call a forever game, or at least as far as a generation is concerned, a Nintendo forever game. They sell you one per generation. You know, you need a new Call of Duty every year, so Activision would tell you. You need, you know, this or that, NFL, NBA, N2K, whatever stupid letters people buy every year. But with a Mario Kart or a Smash Brothers or anything like that, Mario Maker, they only need to make one per generation. And you're not going to play a little bit and then put it away forever. Mario Kart, Smash, you play that all generation until the next one comes out. Because people who play Nintendo games have actual friends that aren't screen names. Actual friends. You can, you can touch them. Ironically, this is mostly played online and single player, so this doesn't really fall into that uh, category necessarily. I mean, sure, you can try and do some multiplayer nonsense, but that's for dads and little kids. That's not for anyone with, you know, self-respect. Speaking of which... Beat my levels, bitches. Come on, bitches. I dare you. I double dog dare you, bitches. Come on. Come on. Anyway, so, yep. I don't even need to do the fucking review. I could have just said, yep, this is near perfect. Bye. So, okay, yeah. That. Bye. Marilyn Monroe Award. Well, then you do recommend it. I mean, off the record, between friends. Definitely. Because classics are classic for a reason. Take me, take me in your arms and make my life. Fucking perfection. Beat my levels, bitches.